Okay, is this one working? Oh yeah! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. And uh, I'm bringing you back for an update on uh, where we are with the base. Uh, with the Horde base in particular. So, um, let's see here. I am in the process of uh, building my um, access area. So this is our hanging platform here. And then this was, this is going to be an access area back here. And then I'm going to, I might put, I'll probably going to, I'm probably going to put a door here too. Um, and then all the rest of these corners I'm going to patch in. I just left those open for the, you know, at first because I needed to get back here and do stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and get these concreted up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, we're going to put a hatch right here too, by the way. Um, and then we're going to go um, finish the f electric fences. And I'll kind of show you, you know, what we're doing with that. And then we should be, um, we should be pretty much ready to go uh, for the Horde Knight, at least for the electric fences. So let's just get this all done there okay so I have the first um, the first fence run Let me grab my uh, grab my uh, thingamadoodle here I, ma I made one electric timer relay and I, wa I want to put actually put that down and see if I can essentially use it as a normal relay because I don't know I can't actually make normal relays uh, but what we have to do is we have to get from our Jenny uh, to this fence post here, and then we're going to run this diagonally across uh, to that other corner. So um, to do that neatly, I mean, I could, yeah, I don't, I don't want to walk across the wires myself. I mean, I know I can do that and it's not going to hurt anything, but I just think it looks kind of cheesy. So what if we punch a hole over here? Um, here, let me get my rebar out here. I think we're gonna, I think I want to go to back. Okay. So let's put that there. Okay. And then we're going to put this relay in place. If this works, then I'll just go back to the base um, and make uh, several more of these. It, it probably will. Well, let's just try it. So we connect to that relay there. Now, um, E to interact with time relay. Okay, so if we... If we don't change this at all... Or what if we... I can't directly type in there. What if we just set it? If we wanted it on all the time, we would need to set this to 23. Let's just see how high up it goes. 2330. Now that would mean it would stop the last 30 minutes of the day. But if we set it to zero, zero, then, then does that just essentially mean it's on all the time? Um, let's see. Let's just do this. Let's attach that there. And temporarily... Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong button. Can I get it there? There we go. So, I mean, it shows it shows that it's pulsating and the electric fence has a little green light, so that suggests to me that it is getting power. So, I think I think that works. The other thing we could do, I guess, is can I can I make any kind of electric light, like the light bulb? 
Uh, light bulb. So you know I can't. I think the lantern just... Yeah, it just runs on its own power, so it doesn't require wire. Um... Okay, well, the other way we can test this is just to to finish wiring it and just see if the fence is actually actually on. So let's do let's sco scooch down here, and what we have to do. Oh, I screwed up. Hold on, let's go back up there for a minute. Why aren't you going down? Dude, what the hell? Cooperate. Okay. Um, alright, so let's grab this. And now what we'll do is we'll go through here. And we'll drop down here. Now we gotta make sure that our wire is not red. So we gotta get right about here-ish. And then we can just hit the tip of the fence post there. Okay. All right, so um, now I guess what we do is we turn it on and see if it's actually on. Is this fence post green? Oh, I can't really tell from that angle. So let's test it on ourselves. <laughs> We're going to shock ourselves. Shock therapy. I gotta. I'm gonna fix this too. Just one thing at a time here. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, fuel this up. I turn it on. And I think I'm gonna go back through this way. Come on. Get the hell up there. There we go. Okay, so it's this one here that we want to we want to test. I know the other one's going to work because it's directly connected to the thing. So what we're going to do is go over here and it's that wire that we need to touch. All right, here goes nothing. Ooh. Is this one working? Oh, yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> okay. So this one's not working. So that relay... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess the other thing we could do... Damn, that hurt. Uh, the other thing we could do is... Actually set the relay so that it's on. Um... You know, during during the horde night and then just off during the day. I suppose that's that's not ideal, but I mean that's all I have to work with right now. You know what? Let's hold on before we we keep screwing with this. Um, let's make some ladders. Uh, no, I'm just gonna make wood ladders and upgrade them. It's faster. So we we'll probably only need like three or four. Yeah. Whoops. All right, and then we got to get right here to jump up onto it. There we go. And let's also, while we're in the process of working on that, let's get our hatch in place too. Okay, so that's gonna, where's the hinges? Now, I don't want it to open up that way. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and then let's get that sucker fully upgraded. Okay, so that's done. Now, um, what we're going to do... Okay, so we're going to set it to where the relay starts at... 
at uh, 10 o'clock, which is when the horde starts, and then ends at... We should probably... Let's have it run, like, till 5 in the morning, and maybe have it start an hour early. So start an hour early and run an hour later. Okay, now... Now that fence should be on. Uh, you know what, though? <laughs> That's not quite going right in the center. I mean, I, th I think it's still going to work. The other thing we could do is we could run... It has to do with the fact that I couldn't put the, the fence posts... I was originally going to put them straight like this, but I couldn't reach them. They were just right out, out of the range. So it doesn't go perfect on the diagonals there, which kind of bothers my OCD tendencies. All right, let's go down here. Yeah, see, that doesn't go right into the corner. And neither does... Well, no, that one goes right in the corner. But it doesn't... Well... No, okay, so those those go in the corner. Why isn't that one? What did I do wrong there? Oh, you know what? I think I put that in the wrong, wrong spot. I needed to move that over one. Okay, well, we can fix that. We can fix that. That way it'll be right smack dab in the center. Uh, all right, so this wire should shock us now. Ah! Okay, it shocks. <laughs> all right, so that, that'll that work for now. Um, at least until I can make... Um, until I can make, you know, the right kind of... There's just the normal relays. I mean, the other option is don't even use the relay. Just run this wire, you know, straight to it until until we can put the normal relays in. But yeah, I see the problem now. This actually should have been one block over. So I'm going to move that. That's not that's going to be easy to fix. I'm going to move that. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just hold off on that because I don't want to put a bunch of relays, you know, timer relays up and then have to redo them later anyway. So yeah, let's 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 redo this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to disconnect that, and we got we have to move this whole whole thing of a doodle over one. Um, so let's turn the generator off so we don't. Disconnect that too. Okay, so yeah, what we got to do is, can we just drop down here? Let's break that. We just got to move this over one block. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm going to have to, uh, probably going to have to break that concrete block up above, but maybe not. Let's see. So we'll put that there. The new fence post there. I'm uh, probably am not going to be able to reach that from back there, but we'll see. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm going to be too far away, but let's let's just try it. So I'm just going to directly connect to this. I know it's going to run the wire through there, but remember this is temporary until we can. Yeah, see, I've got a red cable, so... Oh, it's black right there. Can I... Oh, man, I just barely can't get to it. Wouldn't you know. Just turns red right there. Uh, all right, well, here, then... What we're going to have to do is redo this block. Not a big deal. Especially with our level 5 minor 69er and our badass auger here, fully modded, and cut through this pretty quickly. Uh, 
Okay, now we should be able to make this work. I've just got to be able to look at the tip. There we go. Okay. That'll work. Now, let's grab that and hop down here. Beautiful. Now they're going right right to the center. Just like we just like we had planned. Okay, cool. So I think that's all we really need to do for this part of the fence. Now I was also thinking about doing electric fences. Um running electric fences along the top of uh the ramp here. Just because, you know, sometimes the Zeeks will, will pile up and, and start to kind of get up to the top here. So if, if we also had electric fences running along there, um, that would help discourage them, you know, from, from getting up and starting to bang up on the uh, bang on the straight wall. So I think I'll probably just do that. <clears throat> if I do it, I'm, I'm still trying to decide if I even want to do that at all. If I do do that... Uh, I'll probably just do that off camera because I'm, I'm, what I'm going to have to do is punch a hole. Not too bad I upgraded that to steel now. Um, but I would, you know, I'd have to punch a hole in, in this block and in this block and go and then put fence posts in behind. And then that way we'd have a fence, electric fence running all the way along the perimeter there. And then, you know, if the zombies get up high enough to touch it then they get zapped and it stuns them and they can't you know do maximum damage to to our to our walls so i think i'll do that but i'll probably just do that off camera and then show you guys the end result of that but anyway i think this is coming along pretty good like i said um at some point i'm going to build some shotgun turrets and my plan is to have a shotgun turret in each corner or maybe you know, since the wires are coming out of the corner, maybe I'll put them along, you know, the side of the wall up above because, you know, they have they have a really good range. They can they can point down almost at their feet in terms of the angle of their, you know, of their fire. Um, but I think I think we can go ahead and patch these holes up now. I don't think we need them open now. If uh you know, I guess the one thing about this is that if the fence posts, you know, maybe I wonder if I should actually put hatches in here instead. You know, because if those fence posts do break, I'd have to replace them and I'd have to, I'd have to, um, oh wow, that, that did a hell of a lot of damage for only testing it a couple of times. That's kind of lame. Um, yeah, you know what, I should put hatches in here. So let's, let's, that way if I have to replace them in the future, I don't have to bust through the, the whole block again. I'm surprised how much, uh, you know, I have an electrical on me, how much durability that took away from just that little test. Wow, that sucks. Those things aren't, uh, all that tough, are they? Um, all right, anyway. Yeah, so we'll put some hatches in there, so that way we can easily get to them. Because the zombies are not... Uh, there's no way they're going to get up this high. I mean, they cop spit could come up here, but but the actual Zeeks themselves, that's just not going to happen. Especially if we, you know, if we put uh, another electric fence along the perimeter down there like we talked about. So I'll put hatches in, in that. Okay, let's go... Let's go back in here. Now, I wanted to also box this in with reinforced concrete. So let's do that, and I think... Oh, you know what, though? Hold on here. We can, we can concrete those up. I'm almost wondering if I should have a lower access, too, if we're going to put fence posts in along through here. Uh, and if that's the case, I don't really want to block this off right now. 
So yeah, let's not let's not do that right now. Let's hold off on that. So we'll hop back up here. So this can be filled in here. And then I might go ahead and put hatches over, over these access points too. So that way we can still get them if we need to. Oh, you know what though? No, we we still yeah, we still need that open out there because if we have to replace the fence post, then we have to reattach it. So so that yeah, we need to leave that open too uh for a hatch. Or I mean for access. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to dig out um the rest of uh this, you know, this other side. So I'm going to dig all this stone out and then you know, lay the concrete and get the this part finished. Um, and I have some more, I have some more steel, in fact, quite a bit more steel here, uh, to continue doing the upgrades down below. So I'm going to work on that too. I'm probably going to upgrade, um, the, this part of the roof, if not the entire roof, only because, you know, cop spit can get up through these cracks here. And after that, then what we'll do is we'll work on getting the lower fences in place and when that's done, then I'll bring you back at that point and I'll show you, uh, you know, give you an update on our progress at that point. Okay, so I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back and uh, I am just kind of finishing things up here. So I have, uh, as you can see, I have electric fences running along the top of the, of the incline here. And so we're just kind of getting stuff patched up and then I'll kind of show you. Uh, what it looks like behind the scenes, I do. I, I am experiencing a a bug that I've seen in this game before, though, where um, the wire to the electric fences doesn't it, it gets off centered, and so if you look up there, you can see that on uh, that's not quite going right into the corner. Let's pick all this stuff up. And that one's way off. So it's still connected to the post, but it's not going to the to the head of the post. It's kind of going to the stem. And I don't know if that's just a graphical glitch and the wires are still, in fact, in the center or if it actually physically has shifted. Um, I think that if I log out and back in, that might fix that. Um, I just hope that it doesn't, you know, do that on Horde Night because I need those wires to zap the Zeekers. So let's pick up all these wood frames here. And then really the only thing I have left to do besides putting the shotgun turrets up, which I can't do right now because I don't have all the shotgun parts that I need to build it. Um is just finish, you know, upgrading the rest of this concrete to steel. So, let's get all of this picked up here. Yeah, so, you can see it's definitely not on center, and the zombies are going to fall right through the middle there. So that's, that isn't going to work. I mean, if it's, like I said, if it's, in fact, physically messed up. I'll tell you what, let's do, though. Let's go ahead and log out. Yeah, see, now they're back in the center. Okay. So what we might have to do then is, you know, get down here, um, you know, I don't know, 15, 30, 15 to 30 in-game minutes before Horde Night starts. And if these are screwed up, then we'll have to log in, uh, and re-log. But now they're back in like they're supposed to be. So, uh, what? How the hell did that happen? Oh, oh, right. I, I dropped a, a wood block. <laughs> that was like totally confusing me. Uh, all right, so it's looking pretty good in here. Um, and like I said, we got to get, uh, I, have, I have more steel to continue uh, doing the upgrades, uh, but I'll, I'll do that later. Let's go take a look. Oh, and I did put my double door in here, as you can see. So that's done. So everything down below here, um, I've, I, you know, I put in fence posts and there's, um, 
There's like a concrete block uh, for the base of it. I had to punch a hole, of course, into the wall to, to get uh, the wiring in place. And uh, this is supposed to be covered here. Not that it matters that much, I guess, but... Okay, so that's how that wiring goes. And then I had to, I ended up having to uh, put relays in. Uh, and they had to be the timer ones, of course, because that's all I can make right now. Uh, I would like to probably eventually replace those with normal ones, but oh, maybe not. But they're all set to start uh, an hour before horde time and turn off an hour after horde. In fact, you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, sometimes the horde sticks around for quite some time. So let's let's maybe set set that to like three hours after. So anyway, I moved the generator back and I had to put a land claim block down so I could pick the generator back up. I moved the generator back and then I put uh, installed these relays. So this there's a relay here and then there's a relay here. We'll set that to seven, uh, you know, so that I could get the power down to the, the fences down below. And then I also had to do the same thing for this corner as well. Okay, so those are set to end at seven in the morning now instead of five. And it looks like that's in the center now. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to watch that. Uh, you know, when horde, right before Horde Night starts and make sure that uh, that's set up. Now, I also made some uh, lanterns back at the base. And so let's do this. Let's go ahead and fill in these corners because these no longer need to be open. And then we'll run over to the base real quick and uh, grab those lanterns and we'll put some lighting in here. And then we should be all, all set to go, other than, like I said, you know, the final uh, steel upgrading that I need to do. And I'm, I, I'm curious to see how this base is going to do. I'm expecting that it'll do pretty good. I mean, this is a strong, strong base. And the most important thing, again, you know, and the whole point of this is this is all, this is all a hanging platform. So even if they completely destroyed everything down below, this platform is not relying upon any supports uh, from down there. Uh, so it should uh, it should hold up real well. Okay, so we got that done. Now let's go back into here. And um, I made some... S no, I think I bought those actually. Can't remember from the trader. So let's put this stuff here. And uh, we might as well... Let's leave the steel here too. Well, I'll take a little bit back with me in case I need it for something. Oh! I was going to uh, repair uh, the the fence post that we had tested, so looks like that one's okay. Like that one's okay too. Thought we had a, didn't we have a couple of fence posts that were like kind of damaged that we had to fix? Yeah, that one there. Okay, so we fixed that one. And we fix that one. And so I'll just keep... Um, I, look, I already checked this one, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I think I had to reposition those. That's why they're not damaged. Um, I'll keep this uh, these electrical parts down here so that we can keep those repaired. Because what we're going to have to probably do is, um, you know, check them a couple of times throughout the, the Horde Night to make sure they stay repaired. Now, I'm not expecting the ones down below to get hit a lot. I mean, the upper ones, you know, the crisscross ones, they're going to get hit for, by every single zombie that falls down here. Uh, but these ones down below are probably not, you know, going to be constantly triggered. It's They're just going to, you know, they'll, they'll just go off if a zombie gets up too high on the ramp. And then it'll stun them and, you know, hopefully push them back down or at the very least, you know, keep them stun locked so that they can't start banging on the on the wall and, and trying to break through. That's the idea behind that. But like I said, I don't expect these to get uh, a lot of action, not compared to those. So we probably won't have to worry about, you know, repairing these. In fact, I really, you know, the way it's currently set up anyway, 
I really can't safely repair them because I would have to cross the wire to do so anyway. Uh, but, you know, I took all that into account, account and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. If it turns out that these are breaking too, then we'll have to redo the wiring with some actual relays once I can get my hands on them so that I can come down here and repair them without getting zapped. Of course, that's, that's actually not going to be possible, is it? I don't know. I'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's go back to the base real quick. Um, and we're going to get the lights that I made and light this place up. And then we will be pretty much ready for Horde 77 when it comes. Let me get all my guns back in place before we go up to the surface. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, I grabbed uh, the 10 lights there. Uh, we're going to have to do something about this, too. What I think I'm going to do is, you know, build like maybe a little bunker around this entrance uh, with, you know, some steel doors, too. I'm pretty sure this is far enough away to where the AI's pathing wouldn't come all the way over here to come down to get to me. Um, but, well, let's hope so, anyway. Let's hope so. Um, and that's why, again, I want to... You know, I want to really reinforce this good. The other thing we might even consider doing is just, instead of doing that, maybe just completely blocking this. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, maybe just put some wood, uh, or not some wood, but some, some dirt blocks in there to completely patch it up so the AI doesn't see it as a path. And then, you know, if we need to escape, we'll, we should have a shovel or an auger or something on us that we can, um, you know, break through the dirt if we need to get out. That might be the safer thing to do, actually. That might actually be the safer thing to do. I, I think that's what we'll try. I think that's what we'll try. I, I might, just to be on the super safe side, too, I might actually leave, like, a wood chest somewhere uh, d down a little ways with a shovel in it. Just, you know, just so we can get out. So, okay, yeah, I, I think that's what we'll do. Because, I mean, the bunker would be cool and everything, but if we put a bunker there with a door, you know, the AI could still see that door as a potential way to get to me. I don't think it would just because it's so far away, but uh, I wouldn't put it past him. So we'll just, you know, we'll play that safe and just patch that up with some dirt blocks. All right, so let's see. We came back to, uh, to do some lights. Okay, so let's see. Um, How about... If we put some lights in a light here. Um, oh, oh, no, no, not good. Not good. I'm glitching. Phew. Oh, that was scared. That scared me. Okay. That was weird. Okay, so do I have a space here? Yeah. Okay, so we could put a light here. Uh, let's see, do on face. And then let's turn our light off for a second. Wow, those things are pretty bright. That provides a decent amount of light, doesn't it? Quite a bit. Okay, and then let's pop up here. Yeah, the light doesn't really bleed through. You know, because these are so bright, I wonder if we could get away with just... Uh, no, I don't want to put it there. What would it look like if we put them in the ceiling? I want, I want, want to probably put some inside the base, too. All right, so let's do this. Let's go here. And let's pop a hole there. Yeah, you know, that 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 works. I think that works. I, I didn't know if, you know, because we had it indented in there that if we'd have shadows... But uh, it doesn't do that. So, okay, can I pick this up? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's do this then. There. 
I'm not really planning on, you know, um, lining all the walls and the ceiling in this little back area. Yeah, that gives us really good light. Okay, so let's do that. Um, whoops. Let's do that on all sides here. Okay, good. That's pretty good lighting uh, for the back hallway anyway. Uh, let's go back down here for a second. How, how many? I got five more lights. Okay. So, yeah, I think, I think you know, with the lights up above, and, you know, we still have our own light too, of course. We don't need any more lighting down here. I think we're in good shape down here. thought about uh, enclosing this and putting some doors in there too, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that or not. Okay, now let's go see what the lighting's like out in the... out here. Wow, okay, so the, so the bleed through from the lights we put in make this actually quite bright down here. And that, that actually works in our favor because then the lights aren't exposed, you know, to like cough spit and whatever. And then if we have our own light on, we can see down there pretty good. I'm thinking though, I might like to, I might like to put another light down below, <clears throat> excuse me, down below on that side, just to brighten it up a little bit more in the pit. I mean, it's not, it's not really necessary. See, that damn wire is off-kilter off again. Hmm. That concerns me, because that's... If, if that's physically off-kilter and not just a graphical glitch, then it's not going to work. Um, well, I guess we'll... We'll have to just see what happens when the time comes. It bothers me a little bit, though. Anyway, all right, so, yeah, I wonder if, if we took, I mean, I guess the other thing we could do is just put the lights in the pit, and if they, you know, if they get destroyed, they get destroyed, it's not a big deal. I wonder if we if we stuck the lights on the underneath side of the platform. No, you know what? That's not a good idea. I'll tell you what we could do though. What we could do is put just kind of put them up high here. They'd still be, you know, vulnerable to cop spit. But they wouldn't get uh it's not likely they would get physically hit up there. So I put that four blocks up right there. Oh man, that makes that like really bright in here. I mean, I don't even know if we need <laughs> if we need to add any more. Yeah, let's let's just go with that and see see how 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 those hold up. I wouldn't, I won't be surprised at all if they actually get broken. I suppose the other thing we could do is we could put some iron bars, you know, like put a little iron bar cage around it. That would definitely provide it some protection. But I think what we'll do is we'll just go with this um, for, for the first horde night. And then, you know, if, if they, if they get completely wiped out, then we'll uh, And close them like in a you know an iron bar cage all right guys well all that's left to do 
is just get the rest of this uh, concrete upgraded to steel. Um, at least up to, you know, there, that level there. And um, I might just go ahead and do the whole entire thing in steel. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of steel, but it's mostly because of the cop spit and, you know, there's going to be explosions. We're going to, we're going to start seeing, you know, demolition zombies. Though their explosion only goes up five blocks high. So, uh, but, you know, I mean, if they happen to be standing up here and they explode, then it's going to reach a little higher. But I designed this base to be... Uh, six, it's six blocks up from the top of there, so even if a demo is standing here, he's, he's, his explosion's still not going to reach all the way up to us. Because it only goes, it has a five block uh, radius. So let's get uh, this in. This done here. I might do the ceiling next, uh, up above, before I finish out things out down here. Um, and then probably, yeah, finish this out, this out down here. I think I have more, I, actually I do have quite a bit more steel uh, in the storage chest up there, so I should be able to do the whole thing. Okay guys, well I'm going to let you go here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was a little different than, you know, what we normally do. Not really any action, but uh, just some building, which is cool, because building's a big, important part of this game, and that's what one of the things I love about this game. I think the building... And Seven Days to Die is probably just about the best there there is out there for a building, at least in a block-style building game. And so anyway, yep, yeah, I'm excited to try this out on day 77. But we still have four more days before then, so we're going to get back. Uh, I, I have to do some... Still, bleep, can't talk. I still have to do some work on my base. Um, so I'll work on that a little bit. And uh, then I think what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start turning our attention towards... Uh, questing because I want to start getting into the tier three and eventually tier four and five quests uh, where we're going to get the you know better rewards for doing that so that's kind of the plan and uh, anyway that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we will see you in the next episode bye bye